Howdy and welcome to Aggieland. We are excited to give you a brief virtual tour of Texas A&M's main campus. We will be highlighting a few buildings and traditions to give you an idea why Texas A&M is such a special place. Texas A&M is the largest university in Texas with more than 130 undergraduate degree programs and a world-renowned faculty and staff. The university is located in College Station, Texas, affectionately known as Aggieland. Established in 1876, the Agricultural and Mechanical College of Texas was founded as a land-grant institution. At this time, it was an all-male institution and every student was required to be in the Corps of Cadets. That changed in 1963 when former university president James Earl Rudder changed the policy to admit women and renamed the institution to Texas A&M University to encompass the growing curriculum. This virtual tour invites you to join current students as they give you a glimpse into a few favorite places on main campus. We are excited you are here and welcome to Aggieland. Prominently located on campus, the Memorial Student Center, or MSC, is the hub for student activity. Whether you're attending an organizational meeting, grabbing a bite to eat, or coming to relax, the MSC is the perfect spot. The MSC is a living memorial dedicated to those Aggies, past, present, and future, who have lost their lives in war. So please respect those fallen Aggies by removing your hats when you step inside the building and by not walking on the grass surrounding the facility. The flag room is known as the living room of campus and the perfect place to catch up with a friend, listen to the piano, or take a nap. Right across the hall is the bookstore, Barnes & Noble at Texas A&M. Here you can grab a cup of coffee, find your favorite Aggie gear, and purchase or rent your textbooks before classes begin. A special place in the MSC is the Hall of Honor. This area commemorates Aggies who have received the Congressional Medal of Honor. Additionally, at the end of the hall is the Aggies Lost in Service Memorial, a tribute to Aggies who gave their lives in wars. The MSC is the best place to know what's happening on campus. Members of student organizations line the 12th Man Hallway to publicize events. If you are looking to relax, try playing games like pool or shuffleboard, watching TV, or playing video games with friends downstairs. The MSC is also home to two art galleries, MSC student programs, the Department of Multicultural Services, and three dining areas. Whether you are looking for a place to study, catch up with old friends, or meet new ones, no day in Aggieland is complete without making a trip through the MSC. Academic Plaza is the heart of campus and is a favorite spot among Aggies, not only because of the beautiful landscape, but because of the rich traditions held here. The Academic Building, completed in 1914, is one of the oldest and most adored buildings on campus. Many classes take place in this building, but one of the most interesting pieces lies in its center. If you did not know, each state displays a replica of the Liberty Bell in their capital city. However, in Texas, the Liberty Bell hangs proudly right here. The governor at the time, Alan Shivers, gave the bell to Texas A&M after World War II because no one suffered more than the Aggies. Below the bell is a campus seal, which was the gift from the class of 1978. It was roped off for preservation. Now, current students believe it is unlucky to step on any Texas A&M seal, believing that doing so would prevent you from graduating. Located adjacent to the academic building is the Century Tree. The tree has been here for over 100 years and is a popular site for Aggie proposals. Tradition says that if you walk under the tree alone, you'll be alone forever, but if you walk under the tree with someone you love, you'll be together forever. Here is the Lawrence Sullivan Ross statue, known to Aggies as Sully. Sully served as president of Texas A&M from 1891 to 1898 and led Texas A&M from a state of failure to a growing prosperous institution. He is credited with saving the college because the Texas legislature wanted to close it down and build an insane asylum. Legend says that Sully marched into the meeting discussing Texas A&M's closure and punched the head Texas legislature. Hence where we get the term fighting Texas Aggie. Additionally, Sully helped students in whatever way he could, including tutoring them. Students tried to pay him, but he would simply ask for just a penny for your thoughts. Today, Aggies place a penny or more at the feet of the statue as a symbol of good luck. The money is collected by a selected student organization to be dispersed to a charity, student organization, or program on campus. Silver tax is a long-standing tradition that gives Aggies the opportunity to pay their respects to current students who have passed away in the preceding month. Held on the first Tuesday of each month, if needed, at 10.30 p.m., all lights on campus are extinguished and students gather here. The Roth volunteers march to the plaza and fire their guns, and cadet buglers will place silver taps from the dome of the academic building to the north, west, and south, omitting the east because the sun will never rise on that Aggie again. It is a unique and powerful tradition that sets Aggies apart. Similarly, Aggie Muster is a solemn tradition held each year on April 21st. It is said that if there is an a and man in 100 miles of you, you are expected to get together, eat a little, and live over the days you spent at A&M College of Texas. On this day, Aggies come together to remember those who have passed away in the previous year. 
In this ceremony, we honor the memories of fellow a men and women whose death prevents their answering roll call at muster. The roll is a symbolic roll call of all students and former students whom death has taken from our ranks, but whose memory will live on forever in our hearts. As each name is called, a comrade will answer here. Academic Plaza isn't just the center of activity and tradition on campus, but it is close to classes and student services like Sabisa, the best place for all you care to eat dining, or Evans Library, a great place to study or do research for a paper. We are here at Kyle Field, the home of the Fighting Texas Aggie football team. Kyle Field was established in 1904 when the chair of the Athletic Council, Edwin Kyle, ordered a section of agricultural land be fenced off for football. With three decks on all four sides, Kyle Field can hold over 102,000 spectators, making it the largest football stadium in the SEC. During all football games and at most sporting events here at A&M, you will find that students will stand for the duration of the game. This is because of the tradition of the 12th man. The story of the 12th man dates back to 1922 when Texas A&M was playing Center College in the Dixie Classic. We were the underdogs at the time, and at halftime, if we had any more injured, we would have to forfeit the game. The head coach, Dana X. Bible, remembered that a former football player by the name of E. King Gill was up in the press box identifying players. Bible called Gill down to suit up in an injured player's uniform and stand on the sidelines in case he was needed. E. King Gill never actually went into the game, but the Aggies went on to win and he stood ready just in case his team needed him. This is where the tradition of the 12th man comes from. It means that Aggies are always ready to lend a helping hand to a fellow Aggie in need. Another tradition here at Texas A&M is Midnight Yell. Legend says that in 1931, a group of cadets were gathered in Peanut Owens' dorm room when someone suggested that all of the freshmen should fall out on the steps of the YMCA building. The cadets told the senior yell leaders who said they could not authorize it as an official event, but they might show up. Word spread and railroad flares were placed in the flower pots around the building and thus the first Midnight Yell began. Midnight Yell is held here in Kyle Field at midnight, the night before every home football game. The Yell leaders lead the crowd in a Yell practice and the singing of the War Hymn and the Spirit of Aggieland. They also tell stories about how the Aggies are going to beat the hell out of whoever they're playing that week. At the end of the night, all of the lights in the stadium go out and the Aggies kiss their dates. If someone is without a date, they flick their Vix or hold up a lighter in hopes of finding another dateless Aggie. As you can see, Kyle Field is steeped in tradition and is one of the most recognizable places on Texas A&M's campus. Be sure to experience a football game here for yourself. Don't forget to wear maroon, bring your 12th man towel, and prepare to yell. Texas A&M is a special place filled with a history of service, camaraderie, and tradition. It is a place that many students consider home even after graduation. We hope you enjoyed this virtual tour and take time to explore campus on your own. It's a place we hope that you can consider home too. Thanks for joining us in Gig'em. Gig